Way. Welcome back to the morning line on TVG. I'm Todd Shrupp alongside Simon Bray. And uh, there are certain people in this game, uh, when they say they're going to leave, you know there's going to be a void in the sport. And then when they return, the game is a lot better for it. And uh, I'm talking about the story of Larry Jones, a trainer who left the game and uh, is now back. First of all, Larry, welcome back. Good morning. How is everybody today? We're Good. doing great. I, I just want to say, Larry, there's some people when they leave the game, you have a feeling in the back of your head that you know they're going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a lot, a lot of people told me that. So, uh, anyway, I guess they were right. Were, were the grandkids begging you to, to stay retired? No, I think they had seen enough of me. <laughs> they, they decided that Grandpa wasn't near as cool as they thought he was. Well, in uh, true fashion, uh, you have come back with Cindy, and your barn is uh, going great. And obviously, uh, talk about the job that Cindy did uh, after you announced your retirement. Oh, Todd, it, it was great. She did a wonderful job, and she made the owners extremely happy. And, of course, at the time that I announced, announced my retirement, I really did not know what was going on with myself and my health issues. But we was able to get all of that kind of uh, taken care of and, and found out that my problem wasn't near as tough as I thought it was going to be, and I feel good again. So here I am. You've got to deal with me some more. Well, we're happy to deal with you, and uh, it, your competition has to deal with some of the horses you're sending out. We want to talk about the bourbon at first at Turfway Park. Summer Soiree is one of the favorites in this race, and Summer Soiree really seemed to step forward last time out at Oakland Park, or was it maybe the class relief that she got on that occasion? Well, Todd, she uh, she started training much better as soon as we switched surfaces with her. Uh, we could tell that she, uh, we, we always thought she was a good filly. You know, Cindy ran her in the stakes the very first uh, start of her career. And, and it was kind of a puzzle why she wasn't finishing the race as well. But after we, we kind of moved her around a time or two, we just realized that Delaware was not her favorite surface. And, uh, but she's doing very well right now, and we're hoping Synthetic, uh, you know, is going to work well for her and we're going to give it a try. Yeah, that would have been my next question, Larry. Has she been on the Synthetic surface in the morning? You talk about how she didn't have an affinity for the Delaware surface. Is there some concern about Turfway Park, or you had a chance maybe in a career to get her over Synthetic surface one time? Well, we really didn't, but, uh, of course, uh, Burton Jones, the breeder of her, told me that her mother was a turf horse, so we did get a chance to try her on turf last year. And as you see, one of her wins was on a race that came off the turf. Yep. And uh, so uh, she's done fine. But I've had her here at Turfway for two days, and I've got to gallop her myself over the track. And she really seems to care for it a lot. She, uh, I was very, very happy with the way she moved out over the track. You talked about the dam. She's by one of the hottest sides around right now in Warfront with sold out, of course, and uh, the factor out here on the West Coast. So, so that's a positive as well. Well, I think so. You know, like I said, we were pretty high on this filly ever since uh, we had her in training as a, a long yearling. Uh, Burton let me have her early, early, and and uh, so I, I got to take a, a lot of time with the babies last year. I was out of the spotlight on the racing end, but I was able to get to fool with the babies, and this filly was kind of, you know, always a very top of the, the rung of the ladder kind of filly. Well, we have a tendency to get way ahead of ourselves, those of us who are assessing horses' ability, but could you be as ambitious as the Kentucky Oaks, could you think in those terms if she runs big in the Bourbonette? Well, we're sure not ruling it out. I mean, we feel like she's that quality of a filly. And uh, and, and I just, uh, you know, we had her in uh, at Oakland the other day and, and got in a scenario in the, in the post position where I did not want to be and, and not trying to criticize anybody. But we the, there was the bug boy and the honeybee, and we had drawn right next to him. And I just didn't want to take that opportunity to, for something to go wrong. So we had this in the back of our mind, so we just opted to scratch out of there and come to here with her. Uh, but, no, she's uh, she definitely uh, is still one of our uh, Kentucky Oaks hopefuls, yeah. All right, and then, then there's the Kentucky Derby hopefuls. Uh, we're pressing here a little bit, but let's move to the rush away. You have a horse in there, three-year-old colt by the name of the old Jen, who's one for one under your care, of course, ran under Cindy's care last year. And this horse made big strides going from Delaware to Oakland, from a maiden 30 to allowance. Could we expect... As much improvement this weekend in the rush way going from an allowance to a stakes race. Well, and once again, this was a colt that just took to the Oakland surface instantly. We 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 felt like he was going to shine there, and he did, and, and of course won at that big odds. Uh, but as I said, how great the filly was handling the course here. I've had him out the the same two mornings, and and as 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 great as I'd love to say, the horse is doing well. But I'm 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 a little concerned whether this is going to be his surface or not. Well, and that is, you know, anytime you go to the poly track under much different circumstances. But do you think, a, as far as that surface at Oaklawn Park, 
that horses get a lot out of it. It, it seems like, obviously, they can ship just about anywhere, stamina-wise, and compete. Fitness-wise, I'm not concerned with either horse. No, I, I agree. They uh, And horses that ship into there seem like they come up a little short a lot of times. And uh, so, no, I, I'm real pleased with the uh, fitness level we're coming in here with. And, and if, if they'll handle this track, if it just doesn't uh, go to floundering around out there, we, we'll be uh, pretty, uh, pretty, you know, competitive in both races, without a doubt. Larry, before we let you go, I just want to emphasize again, it's so great to have you back uh, involved uh, directly now in the game uh, with your name out there as a trainer again. But I must ask you before we leave, uh, what have you appreciated more? The time that you, the time that you were away, what did you miss the most, and what are you glad to be back around now that uh, you're named as a trainer again? Well, needless to say, we got to spend a, a lot of time with family that just needed to be done. As, as this business is, seven days a week, 365 a year, uh, you just uh, you, you have a lot of opportunities that you don't get to spend with family. So that was very good. But needless to say, uh, being with the horses and, and with all the people in racing, uh, you know, once horses get in your blood, it doesn't come out. So uh, here we are. Larry, you've uh, always been a true horseman and just a great guy. Uh, continued success. Welcome back, and uh, good luck this weekend. We thank you all very much. Thanks for having us on, and, and uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Best of luck, Larry. Thank you, Simon. Larry Jones joining us here on the morning line on TVG. And, One of the uh, good guys. Uh, he really is. And, uh, you know, I got a chance to know him, obviously, uh, before the Eight Bells incident. And, you know, you talk about the health-related issues. You've always talked about this, too, what stress can do to your oh, body. it's unbelievable. I mean, the stress that he was under, I mean, he was a shaken man after what uh, the media did to him and just the incident itself. And he needed that time away. And uh, in the end, maybe in some ways, it prolongs your career, stepping away and just kind of gathering yourself. And that's clearly what he had to do. He needed to do that. He was in the spotlight there for, for a good four or five year period with yep. that triple ground trail. And yeah, the stress is a killer. Having trained myself, you know, I was 20 pounds lighter when I started working <laughs> here, when I quit up training for, and it wasn't through healthy eating, believe me. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's lucky that he was able to step away put the horses in his wife's name yeah. and, and still be involved somewhat, you know, take care of the babies. But yeah, I mean, I think this business, you can get sucked in. You can look up and then 25 years later, you, you know, yeah. your, your life's gone by. You're still doing the same routine. So, Well, and the thing with um, both Larry and Cindy, it's like we all have stresses in our life, all have obstacles to overcome, but most of us do it in a private forum amongst Correct. family and friends. They were on a, a public stage, and it was being aired every day. And uh, so it's good that things can get back to normal for them. And uh, you see the result of the hard work that Larry and Cindy put in. Summer Soiree, the one to beat, and the Bourbonette, and another hope in the rush away. They're just good people. Yeah, that's the There are the certain thing. people in this world that are just good people, and that Cindy and Larry Jones are good people.